So this PET machine I designed back then, but now it requires some modification. So that's what we are going to do in today's video. So let's do it. So the first thing we are going to do is to change the heating block. And this is the new heating block that I've just received. And let me tell you why I'm changing this. So you can see this ugly looking old heating block. And the main problem was this thermostat, thermostat was not properly connected to the heating block. Because of that, the temperature reading fluctuate too much. And sometimes temperatures go so high, the PET strip melts and breaks. So that was causing like very big problem. So that's why it needed to be changed. Okay, so I've changed the plan a little bit. You can see the nozzle is upside and the screw is downside. Well, I twisted a little bit because it was not fitting properly and it was causing the height problem in it. So you can see the thermo thermostat is below the heat heater and it's working fine, I would say. No problem in it. And don't forget to expand the hole at the back of the heating block because it gives a cone shape to the heating block by which your PET filament can get rounded easily. And the second upgrade is this spool core or you could say spool holder because you can see the hole, the nut hole is expanding because of too much pressure that the motor is bearing to push the filament through the heating block. And because of this, I have to design a new one which can handle that amount of pressure without breaking. So let me just show it to you. Okay, this is a new design. You can see the middle part is kind of broad because of the, the screw can spread its pressure to a broader area by which, or you can say it can survive longer time than the previous version. So this one is better in design and its strength also. Next upgrade is this filament welder. Well, this one is functioning, but the problem is this is kind of weak. The structure is not optimal at well design because of, this, because of this, the strength is kind of low and it is easily breakable as you can see. So this needed to be fixed as soon as possible. You can see it's shit. So let me just show you too. the new design, kind of curvy, more curve, more better design you can see. And it is way stronger than the previous one. So let me just install it and show it to you. Hmm, way stronger, way better, way good looking. You can see the design is kind of cool. More curves, remember that. So you can see almost every single thing is upgraded. The spool holder and the filament welder, the heating block, but still there's one thing left, and which is I think really important. And that thing is legs. You can see the layer shift and kinda very edgy design, not good looking. So let me just get you a good one. And this is a new design with more curves, look kind of looking more premium, sorry for the print quality. I don't know what happened to my 3D printer, so this is the result of the print. But anyways, if you print with the proper settings and proper way, it's gonna look good. And there's a horse in it on the leg, on one side of course, and it is looking super gorgeous. So let's install it. Mm, nice beautiful horse so it's a print with the proper settings and at least have 30 percent fill that's why it's going to be stronger so we have upgraded we have finally upgraded our pet machine so let's produce some pet filament so before i produce some pet filament let me just show you to you this pet filament holder what it does it it holds the filament which is connected to the spool and the filament which is coming out of a heating block by which you can tightly hold those two filament without much problem like 